everyone and welcome to my channel um, I'm on my way to pick up my friend from the airport and I thought that I'll make this quick video on like the cons of travel nursing because I'm currently on an assignment right now and I'm irritated about a few things so let's get started okay so first and foremost um, I feel like people always talk about the pros of travel nursing like oh, I'm gonna be a nurse and um, you know, I'm gonna work staff a little bit and then I'm gonna start travel nursing to make the good money Like everybody knows like the pros of travel nursing is the money that you make is like three times The amount that you can make as a staff nurse or whatever, but I feel like nobody talks about like the cons of travel nursing like basically like if you're taking contracts that's away from your family like being away from family for holidays for example like that's what i feel like i'm currently going through like even though i live in la and all my family is from philly i'm already used to being away from them but like i feel like for the past few thanksgivings i wasn't able to go home because of my contracts like and these are these were three different contracts that i was on and it's just it's just it, it really just depends on like what agency you're working with or if you're working with like a uh, bad side like in the hospital it depends on your manager and what their need is because obviously as a travel nurse you're there to help out because they're short staff so they might not give you off or they might give you off on the actual holiday but you might have to work black friday or something like that and this is probably like the same for christmas as well um, so it's like, yeah, you might be off, but like you might not have enough time to travel back home. Um, granted, I'm not talking about if you're doing like a local contract that's uh, 50 miles away from where you already work. But yeah, like that's just one of the cons that I've been feeling lately, like since Thanksgiving is coming up, it is November. Um, another thing is um, nobody talks about like, like the contract I'm on right now is six days a week. And even though we're not really working six days a week, like sometimes we're on call, most of, most of the times we're on call for a lot of days, um, we still can't leave because we're on call. So I feel like I'm in boot camp at times. Like I get one day off a week and oh, and let me tell y'all with this contract, they, not, they don't even tell you what your day off is ahead of time. They're telling you 24 hours before what day you have off so for example say I'm working today or I'm on call today they'll text me at like three o'clock in a group me and say hey team we're off tomorrow like sometimes not even three o'clock sometimes last night I got a text at what seven o'clock saying that I was off today so you just got to be mindful of things like that like it doesn't work how a typical staff job would work where you know your day is off your schedule is set and still i mean sometimes it does but what, like you're getting pto you're requesting vac vacation time it's not really like that like with these contract jobs you're on a contract because you're needed and um they have a need for you so they feel as though like you know if you're only on this contract for a month three months whatever uh like you shouldn't be taking no days off. So you just have to be mindful of stuff like that. Like if you have vacation or you miss your family and stuff, you have to like plan it before you decide to take a contract. You just gotta think about like if you have emergencies and stuff. Um, I'm quick to quit contracts when I feel like they're pissing me off, but I'm trying to not do that too much because you know, I, I don't wanna keep going through agencies. And then like when the rates go up, you don't wanna be like banned or blocked from a specific agency because the rate is up. Um, and now you're missing out on money like it's just like it's it's pros but then it's cons because it's like uh it's such easy money and you know i'm on call a lot of days but it's just like i really do feel like i'm in boot camp and i can't do a lot and you get caught up with like looking at people on social media or like whatever and just watching them live their life and you feel like wow like i'm not able to live my life i'm not able to have freedom even though I guess you can do stuff after work and stuff, but like you really can't do too much or have too much time off or too much. You can't even really plan anything because you don't know what days you're going to be off. So um, this was just a quick video talking about that. Another kind of um, travel nursing. Someone just asked me this on one of my videos uh, the other day. They commented and was like, how do you balance travel nursing and dating? like are you in a relationship me personally i'm not in a relationship but i have like um my co-workers 
uh, I work with, like one is engaged, another one is in a relationship. Um, my manager is dating. Um, I know like people that are in relationships, like they'll, their spouse will fly out to them because most of the time they're able to stay at the hotel that the job is providing. Like it's not really a big deal unless the contract is specifically says like, oh, you can't have company, but most of the time you can. Um, so I know like their spouses will fly out and spend time with them or like on their days off, they will fly home and you know, see their spouse. But like with this contract, like all of my coworkers are going through it. Everybody is like fighting the urge to like not go home and just stick it out and mentally battle like, okay, like let me just stay down and make this money and then go back home. My coworker that's engaged, that's hard. Like her and her fiance just bought a house together and she's been out here for a year. So it's just like, you know, like not seeing your fiance for a year, somebody you're about to be married to. I mean, granted, they'll understand, but I feel like, you know, it's only so much talking on the phone you can do. Like, you just, if you are in a relationship, you can always choose to do local contracts. Like, so you're in your area with you and your spouse and you're just driving 50 miles, like back and forth to work. Or like, if the person you're dating lives in another state, you can always pick up a contract there. Um, but yeah, you just, you gotta make it work or you just find a contract that works for you. But like with these contracts where it's like light work and like good money for like doing light work, I mean, it's it's really like, it's just an option of you if you can stay away and stay down and stack your money up or um, if you need to be around your partner. But I feel like most partners that are healthy and that, that get it, they'll understand. I mean, I don't know about a year of understanding, but maybe like a month or two, like, you know, they'll understand if you wanna go pay off like that or stack up your money for a specific cause, like they should be understanding of that. Not all the time, but a lot of times, like on my current contract, and this has happened like a few times before, um, I'm not sure if you guys saw my first video where I, my first travel nurse job where I was in the middle of nowhere in New Mexico. That's another con, like, a lot of times you might be sent to, you're being sent to a smaller hospital that has a need for nurses or like an area, like an area that's in need. And a lot of times it's not in the city. You will get a few times where it's in the city or whatever because uh, like staff nurses are just quitting now and they're tired of the nursing toxic uh, environment, but that's another uh, topic. But yeah, like where I'm at right now, I'm in Corona, California, and y'all, it is so boring. Like, all I see is mountains and dust, or sand, dirt, whatever. It's it's literally um, tumbleweed. Like, it's tumbleweed, it's, it's, it's just boring. And I don't know, I feel like the lights in the hotel room is like yellow. Like it just makes me depressed. It makes me really feel like I'm in boot camp for this money, because it's like I'm, I'm, I like to be in a city. Like I'm a city girl. Like I like to see the buildings. I like to, I don't know, be around people, and I just feel like isolated. Like I don't know. Like I'm watching the world and everybody live their life from the outside looking in in this weird local desert town or something I don't know so um, that's another thing like being in an area that it's not much to do in Corona it's, it's like a lot of plazas and stores like I go to Target home goods uh, little stores like that but it's it's not much that for me to do there like especially by yourself like I'm, I'm out there with my co-workers and it's only so much you know mingling you want to do with your co-workers because at the end of the day, uh, your coworkers are not your friends. Like they're cool and you might meet a friend that y'all can get closer after your contract, but y'all don't trust those people too much. So that's another kind, like being in the middle of nowhere, feeling isolated, feeling like a loser, I guess. Like, I don't know. Like you're, you're getting to your money, but you also feel like, damn, like I'm not living my life. So yeah, that's something to consider as well. So, a major con that I'm sure that a lot of nurses, um, travel nurses have experienced is like staff nurse jealousy. Like, not every staff nurse, of course, like you get your nice, helpful staff nurse, the ones that are 
just grateful that you're coming in and that they're not short staffed that way they their their workload is lighter on them um so yeah not all staff nurses but some staff nurses y'all they are just so nasty and jealous like they just be jealous that you coming in there helping and making more money than them like i never really understood it but like a lot of travel nurses talk about this like they just they be trying to do anything to mess up your money and to get you out of there like um i'm i'm not sure if y'all watch my other videos but um yeah i talked about how i got fired because they didn't like me in one video for example one time i was travel nursing and um i had a patient y'all she was like 90 something um and she was just basically at end of life and um I was checking on her I was updating the doctor because obviously her vitals kept going down but we wanted to keep her alive until her family got there right the doctor knew of everything that was going on um, I had to keep suction in her because she had like excessive uh, mucus and you know we didn't want her to choke on it and things like that um, however like it had got to a point where like respiratory had to come up and do some things to you know manage her lungs or whatever so one nurse she got upset with me well she didn't get upset with me one nurse she just was i don't know she was just being nasty like she just came in my patient's room so then when she saw me she's like oh um uh you you need to be checking on your patient more um uh i've been checking on your patient all night mind y'all as a nurse right whether you're checking on my patient or not um that's my responsibility first of all but if you want to be helpful and, and check on my patient don't try to act like i'm not doing my job because i was definitely doing my job and i had just left out of the room when she needed to be suctioned again like she's at the end of life like i'm not saying that she deserves to choke or anything but if you're going to check on my patient you don't have to be nasty about it you should be checking on the patient because you're a good person and you're a nurse and it's your job to be passionate and care about people so you're you know like if you see something wrong and you happen to be walking past you're helping the patient out not as you're doing me a favor by checking on my patient i didn't ask you to check on anything because i had just spoke to the doctor literally probably like two minutes but at the end of the day i had five patients i had to check on other patients so we just started getting into it like she just she just was nasty had a smart attitude and i told her like i'm not the one i'm not the one or the two um, so yeah, that can happen. I feel like I'm lost at words. I'm gonna edit this out, but they be trying to act like I don't know, like because you're a travel nurse, you're supposed to just like be a magician. You're supposed to you're supposed to just do the utmost. Like I'm a nurse just like y'all, and I'm juggling patients just like y'all. And I honestly wasn't even that busy that night. I just had another patient had called me about some medication, and she was stable. I had updated the doctor and the doctor said she's good and you know respiratory is going to handle it the doctor was on their way and basically you know that's all I could do I, I believe she ended up passing before her family got there but um yeah y'all so you just it's just yeah nobody talks about those things with travel nursing granted the money is great the money is great as a travel nurse especially as a single nurse with no children like i definitely enjoy the lifestyle that this gives me but please don't think that just because um you're going to travel nurse you're going to make a bunch of money it's not going to come with problems because it definitely will come with oh my god be quiet that's just being a nurse in general but yeah y'all so um thanks for coming to my ted talk i just wanted to give y'all the real and let y'all know like uh things that you should be prepared about when you're um travel nursing and what to expect because uh yeah it definitely has its downsides